For more than a century, Neptune has been a quiet mystery at the edge of our solar system. A lonely blue world, drifting four and a half billion kilometers away, cold, distant, and silent. Or at least, that's what we thought. But then came the James Webb Space Telescope, the golden-eyed machine that can see through cosmic darkness. When it turned its gaze toward Neptune, it saw something that no one expected. Something glowing, alive, electric. The discovery would challenge everything we thought we knew about the coldest planet in our solar system. Neptune has always been a difficult world to understand. It's the farthest major planet from the Sun, sunlight there is 900 times weaker than on Earth. A year on Neptune lasts 165 Earth years. The winds there are the fastest in the solar system, roaring at over 2,000 kilometers per hour. And beneath its calm blue clouds lies a stormy world of ice, methane, and mystery. Only one spacecraft has ever been there, Voyager 2, back in 1989. It spent just a few hours near Neptune, capturing ghostly blue photos that amazed humanity. It showed us the great dark spot, a storm almost the size of Earth, and hinted that Neptune wasn't a dead ice ball, but a living, restless planet. Then Voyager flew away, and for three decades, Neptune disappeared into darkness once again. In 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope began its mission, the most powerful observatory ever built by humankind. It can see the universe in infrared light, invisible to our eyes, but rich with secrets. And in 2024, scientists decided to turn it toward Neptune. The goal was simple, study the planet's temperature, rings, and atmosphere in more detail than ever before. But what Webb saw was not simple. It was shocking. Because for the first time in history, we saw Neptune's auroras. Lights shimmering across its dark skies, glowing not in visible light, but in infrared. At first, astronomers thought it was a mistake. Auroras, the beautiful dancing lights like Earth's northern lights, usually appear near a planet's poles. But Neptune's glows weren't near the poles. They appeared thousands of kilometers away, near the middle latitudes far from where any aurora should be. The team rechecked the data. It wasn't an error. It was real. The infrared signature matched a molecule called H3, the trihydrogen ion. This molecule forms when charged particles from space slam into a planet's atmosphere, energizing hydrogen atoms and making them glow. For decades, scientists had searched for this glow on Neptune, from Voyager to giant telescopes on Earth. But no one had ever seen it clearly, until JWST. This was the first confirmed detection of auroras on Neptune, and they were stranger than anyone had predicted. Why were the lights in the wrong place? The answer lies in Neptune's bizarre magnetic field. Voyager 2 discovered that Neptune's magnetic field is not centered. It's tilted nearly 47 degrees from its rotation axis and offset thousands of kilometers from the planet's core. Imagine holding a bar magnet inside a globe, but it's shoved to one side and pointing diagonally. That's Neptune. Because of this tilt, charged particles don't follow neat paths to the poles. They spiral and twist chaotically through the magnetosphere, creating auroras in unpredictable places, even at mid-latitudes. JWST's infrared vision captured these crooked auroras in stunning detail, revealing just how warped and dynamic Neptune's magnetic environment really is. It's a reminder that even in the frozen outer solar system, there's an invisible storm raging, a battle between sunlight, particles, and magnetic forces. But there was another surprise hidden in Webb's data. When scientists measured the infrared emissions, they noticed something strange about Neptune's temperature. It was cooler, far cooler, than expected. In the 1990s, Voyager's instruments had measured Neptune's upper atmosphere at around 500 Kelvin. JWST found it closer to 300 Kelvin. That's a drop of over 200 degrees in just a few decades. A cosmic mystery no one can yet explain. Some theories blame changes in the sun's activity. But Neptune is too far away for solar cycles to make that much difference. Others suspect shifts in the planet's magnetic field. Or chemical reactions in its high atmosphere that release heat differently than before. Whatever the cause, something deep in Neptune's system is changing. Cooling it faster than our models can predict. When we look at Neptune through telescopes, we sometimes see huge cloud systems forming and fading, storms that appear and vanish within years. Now, 
JWSD is showing that even its upper atmosphere is shifting, heating, cooling, glowing, dimming, almost like the planet is breathing. It's no longer the frozen, lifeless giant we once imagined. It's a world alive with invisible motion. A world whose sky flickers with auroras born from chaos. And then there's Triton, Neptune's largest moon. Triton orbits backward, opposite to Neptune's rotation. It's covered in frozen nitrogen and may have geysers erupting from beneath its surface. JWST's images showed Triton shining brightly beside Neptune. And scientists noticed something intriguing. Triton's magnetic connection to Neptune might actually help trigger those strange auroras. Just like Jupiter and its moon Io, Triton could be feeding Neptune with charged particles. An electrical bridge between planet and moon, sparking light far from the poles. If that's true, Neptune and Triton are not just neighbors. They're partners in a cosmic dance of magnetism and plasma, weaving lights into the darkness. JWST also revealed something we hadn't clearly seen since the 1980s. Neptune's rings. Faint, dusty, fragile. They shimmered faintly in the infrared, tracing the planet like the ghost of Saturn's crown. For decades, those rings were almost invisible, but Webb's precision brought them back. A reminder that even in the farthest corners of the solar system, beauty endures. This discovery isn't just about Neptune. It's about understanding how planets live and change. Neptune and Uranus are what astronomers call ice giants. And here's the stunning part. This class of planet is the most common type found across our galaxy. When JWST studies Neptune, it's also teaching us how billions of other worlds might behave, how their atmospheres move, how their magnetic fields twist, and maybe even how life could survive in extreme, frozen environments. Every data point, Every faint glow helps us understand the universe a little better. Think about it. From a distance of billions of kilometers, a telescope orbiting the sun can detect faint molecules glowing in the night of a distant planet. That's how far human curiosity has come. We built a machine that stares into the unknown, and it answers with wonder. Neptune, once forgotten, is now at the frontier of discovery again. Its crooked magnetic field, its shimmering auroras, its cooling sky. They're all pieces of a deeper cosmic puzzle. And JWST has just given us the first few clues. Maybe that's the real power of the James Webb Space Telescope. It doesn't just show us distant worlds. It shows us that the universe is still alive. Even 4.5 billion kilometers away, there are storms raging, lights burning, and secrets waiting to be uncovered. Neptune has sent us a message, carried on faint infrared light. There's still so much we don't understand. But now, we're finally listening.